have our meteorologist Allison Gargaro who is standing by right now as we wait for Beryl to make landfall. We still think somewhere near Matagorda Bay, right yes, Allison? A hundred percent. And I'm actually going to zoom in on our radar to show you what it's looking like right now. Now this is a very large uh, center of circulation or I as we could call it. Now we haven't heard anything that it has made landfall yet, but you can see all those outer rain bands are over land right now. And let's zoom you in. Here we go. We're not seeing much on the radar right now in Matagorda. And usually when we see very quiet skies within the middle of a hurricane that we have seen where the eye wall is. Again, no exact reports on that. We're going to wait until the National Hurricane Center does make a call on when it makes landfall. But as you can see, the heaviest rain is out toward Palacios right now. But Matagorda, it looks like you are going to be seeing some quiet weather just for a bit longer until we see the other side of the storm roll through. But let's take you on a tour of the radar because this is important. If you live along our coast, or even close to it, mainly south of League City. We're seeing these outer rain bands just continue to drop a ton of rain. And I'll get to some flash flood warnings that we're monitoring at this time. This is a look at Freeport and we have a uh, Bryan Beach and then making its way up toward Hoskins here and even out toward the four corners. You can see this second band of rain is starting to move in. There's no lightning associated with it. We don't normally see a ton of lightning associated with these tropical systems, but they're big raindrops, meaning a lot of rain embedded within these bands. Now I say that and there's a few lightning strikes out toward Palacios, but again, two, three, uh, not a ton, not showing that there's severe weather there. It's just kind of right where the edge of the center of the storm is. Now let's take you out to League City, to Texas City, Galveston. You're going to be getting hit hard with this rain band as it kind of starts to whip up from the Gulf of Mexico and then pushing on shore. Now, if you live in Pearland, where you're likely going to be seeing some heavy rain move in, I'd say within the next 10 to 15 minutes. Now we're taking you out a bit wider, showing you out toward Houston inside the loop. We're looking at light to moderate rain at this time. Atascacita, you probably saw a surge of a bit heavier rain and it's going to turn back to I'd say light rain to sprinkles before this most outer rain band starts to move in. But let's time it out for you. You can see that heaviest rain extending from Santa Fe to Alvin and then all the way uh, out toward Needville. It's likely going to be moving up, I'd say, within the next uh, five to about 15 minutes. You'll start to see some pulses of that heavier rain begin to move in. But I want to take you out to some storm winds right now. Now, I wouldn't say that these numbers that I'm going to give you at the moment are complete gospel. They're what we we call pixel query. So we are getting some of the best information that our radar uh, can bring us at this time, but anywhere from 45 to 55 to about 70 plus mile per hour gusts in some spots that we are monitoring. So again, these winds are going to continue to pick up. Now I just quickly want to go back to that flash flood warning in portions of Matagorda and Brazoria counties. Now this particular area is in effect until 445. So we're talking another hour and 45 minutes from now. And the reason being, this is a look at six hour rainfall totals, five and a half to six plus inches of rain that we have seen so far. This has been the area that's in the northeastern side of the storm, which as a lot of folks refer to it as the dirty side and boy, are they getting that rain with the counterclockwise motion. When we see these winds just whip around, they really pick up on the northeastern side of that circulation and boy, are we seeing it? So if you live from Freeport, even Bay City and just south of Angleton, I'd say now is not the time to go outside. You need to hunker down. This is where we are seeing likely the winds will be picking up within the next hour or so, but really it's all about the rain, which could lead to street flooding. We're talking about saturated ground, so saturated ground from the trees and even potentially some power lines and then the winds start to pick up. That's when things could start to topple over as we head throughout the mid morning hours. But I want to take you out to our GFS future wind gusts. Now, 
It does look a bit different from some of our other models. This has it a bit more west, whereas some models have it moving right up through Katy and into Houston. But we're likely going to be seeing those winds really start to ramp up within the next two to three hours. I mean, we're talking forecast wind gusts uh, near the edge of Fort Bend County, potentially up to 85, if not near 90 mile per hour wind gusts. Again, that is category one hurricane strength winds that we'll see continuing through the mid morning. I mean, this is still at 745 and those winds 55, 65, if not 75 miles per hour. That's the thing with this storm is that it is going to be increasing in intensity up until uh, the moment it makes landfall and then it's going to take a bit for these winds to really decrease. But I'd say by late this morning into the early afternoon, that center of the storm is going to be in the northern portion of the viewing area and then we'll start to see winds decrease from south to north. So this is going to be moving through pretty quickly, at least relatively speaking, meaning this is not going to be stuck overhead for days upon days that once it does move through, it's going to take the worst of the weather with it. But we need to get through those really strong wind gusts that we will be seeing this morning. So tropical storm warnings uh, do continue for spots that aren't under the hurricane warnings. That does mean inland. Uh, if you were just with us probably about 30 minutes ago, I was going county by county, letting you know that folks that are from Fort Bend County to Harris County, Montgomery County, uh, you're likely going to be on the east side of the storm, meaning that wind gusts upwards of 80 plus miles per hour as that center is making its way north and it's going to do to do so in pretty quick fashion. Now folks along the coast are under that hurricane warning, meaning we're likely going to be seeing those winds uh, start to ramp up rather quickly here. So we have that storm surge warning as well uh, continuing. Now some spots are going to be seeing high tide within the next several hours, meaning that as that water is rushing up on shore and we've been showing you live pictures from out along our coast and it, it is truly impressive to see what's happening now. But the thing is, as the water is going to be rising, regardless of if the storm was here or not with that high tide, that water really starts to rush on. Uh, we've already had reports of uh, down near Jamaica Beach. Uh, Jamaica Fire did report that we're starting to see some of that water on the roads that are closest to the coast already. So there's still a lot going on that we have to show you. And I know that Mike has some really good graphics showing what the current wind situation is because I went over what the radar looks like, but the wind is going to be uh, a very big portion of this as well. So Sally and Lena, we're going to send it back to you, but we're going to continue to bring you those updates all morning long.